where do we start from? So we're going to start from somewhere. Fun to see you again. Yay. Hey. So um, a while ago, I threw out a poll and I asked people to vote for four things, either dandruff, affordable products, um, things that can destroy your hair and one other thing, how to use products for effect. I think something like that. And the one that came with the highest votes, as you can see, is things that can destroy your hair. So if you're part of the category of people that you've been growing your hair for a while, but you're scared that one day you can wake up and then your hair starts breaking and one thing or the other, yada, 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 then keep watching this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. <laughs> So in today's video, we're going to be looking at things that can destroy your hair. Things that can affect the growth of your hair. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about, which is like the most important thing on my list, is moisture. Lack of moisture. Now, the black woman's hair generally is seen as a very strong hair. Whether you're in the three categories or the four, our hair needs so much moisture. When your hair is clarified too much because of the kind of shampoo or products you use, we're going to get to that. It can take out the moisture in your hair. But besides that, you have to keep moisturizing your hair in order for your hair to do what to grow properly. And so the doctor will always advise you drink blah, 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 water, liters of water in a day, which so many of us don't keep to. But it's very important to, to always use water in cooking, in baking, whatever thing we use water. And that is how important our hair needs to be moisturized. So you can moisturize with water. You can moisturize with your hairspray. You can moisturize with a leave-in um, strengthener, a leave-in conditioner. So whichever. But one thing that is very important is that you should always moisturize your natural hair. At least not less than three times a week, you should always moisturize your hair. And always put your hair in a proper way that it will be easy for you to moisturize. The second thing on our list we're going to be looking at is over manipulation. Too much fondling, touching. I always say this thing. When it comes to natural hair, I like your hair rest too. When you always fondle your hair, you always play with your hair. You're always packing your hair. We always touching. Even combing the hair. You're combing it as if you're in the air. You are fighting. Ah! Your hair, it will just be breaking. It will cut. Our kind of hair that we have in Africa is not kind of hair that you're supposed to be touching every time. You need to allow your hair to rest, honestly. Let your hair rest. Even washing your hair too often, like, it means that you're disturbing your hair too much. Just let it rest. You don't have to wash your hair every week. Don't let anybody deceive you, please. Because when you have to wash your hair, you have to accept your hair is in its protective hairstyle. And then you, your kind of work, you have to be in the dust probably every single day. Then probably you can wash your hair. Maybe every two weeks or once every week. But say you work from home or your house to wherever you work. You don't even meet dust like that. You're in AC or whatever. Why are you washing your hair every week? Why? Why? You have to take down your weave. You have to wash it. No, please don't do that. So stop over manipulating your hair because too much of fondling of the hair can cause breakage. Number three is trimming. Say you go in every single time. You, in fact, since the beginning of the time you stay your natural hair, you've never trimmed your hair. Even snakes, if they shed skin, your hair does not have its own skin, but that ends. It's like this is like the dead part of your hair, it's the oldest part of your hair, and so you have to shed it, you have to cut it, you have to let it go. So you've kept your hair from the very beginning and you've never trimmed your hair. Like, don't let anybody deceive you and tell you that you don't need to trim your hair. Ha, hey, ha. I'm not going to talk too much, but they are lying. I know a lot of people are doing hair care and whatever, but you must trim your hair. I don't mean you should trim your hair every month. Get me right. Personally, I trim my hair, I think, once in a year because my hair does not really bring out that split in because of how healthy I take care of my hair. But if you notice that your hair needs to be trimmed, once your hair starts looking like this on the screen, just notice. You see that from that side, I just marked. You have to let it go. Just cut it. Whether you are relaxed or you are not relaxed, you have to always trim your hair. Okay? Thank you. I don't have to say so much. If you want to watch, um, if you want to learn how to trim your hair, then watch this video by the side. Wait, anyway, I drop it sharp. Just watch the video. You will learn how to trim your hair. You don't necessarily have to go to a salon. But if you know after watching this, you still can't trim your hair properly, then I would suggest you go to a salon before you become bald. Okay? Don't say I sent you to trim your hair if you can't. All right. Next on the list. At this point, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please 
give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment if you're confused on anything i would say i've said before or i'm still going to say okay and please subscribe to this channel first thing we're going to um that can destroy your hair is bleach dye like what you guys know it as dyeing your hair personally i would actually love to dye my hair but i want my hair to get to a particular stage i don't know if that's going to be a dead sentence but i think i want to i love wine colors um, mostly so i think i would love to like dye my hair to that color i would have said blue but <laughs> as an african shy do you know what why did I <laughs> so let's just leave it there but then when you use the wrong bleach for your hair i'm not going to mention products because i don't want any drama after this video but you should know what you should know you others 1000 year 500 year dye i'm not going to say more than that i'm not going to call their names okay don't if you're going to use a dye for your natural hair, I don't mean your relaxed hair. I mean for your natural hair. Relaxed hair, they can still go with anything because normally the relaxer has already like altered a part of their healthy hair. So if you're going to use for it, it's damage, it's damage. Don't come for me, but then whatever. <laughs> so if you're going to use a bleach product or dye or whatever thing it is called, then you have to make sure you are using a recommended dye from someone who is a natural hair care stylist or someone who naturally dyes people hair you know there are some people that you go to that salon they'll tell you it's just dying that they do i think i know like one or two salons like that they just dye hair some do dyeing and locking of hair so some of those people actually have a very good idea on it and before you even use it please check the ingredients check those things that can destroy you hmm. some hair dye will destroy your hair even more than relaxer will you even prefer to go and relax your hair than to put the dye on your hair. And then when you dye your hair, when you bleach your hair, the next thing you should be thinking of is adding, increasing your moisture. If before you used to use, let's say, you used to use, um, you used to um, add your leave-in conditioner or moisturize your hair once every week, then you have to increase it to like three times every week because because of that dye. Ah, this dyeing matter is very long, but I'm going to try to like summarize it. When you dye your hair, it penetrates your hair shaft and then colors it. So it becomes permanent. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's kind of um, fades out. So while your hair is growing and you're trimming that end part or it's coming off, your dye keeps going. Okay? All right. I don't know if that's clear. But temporary hair dye does not penetrate your hair shaft. It just stays on the surface and then you can easily wash it off. And if you've seen me on this and this, you know that that's a temporary hair dye because I make it and I sell it. So... So when it comes to dyeing, whenever you dye your hair, it can destroy your hair if you use the wrong bleach, if you use the wrong dye. Do not use a harsh dye for your hair. Make sure you check the ingredient properly. Make sure it is recommended by a hairstylist or someone who dyes hair, a hair dyer, hair dyer, a hair bleacher. <laughs> Whatever that means, just you understand what I mean. Next on our list is medications. Now, this medication thing here, after he said and seen, I've seen it because my elder sister has been going through some kind of, she has gone through surgeries like two or three times. She has gone through some kind of health issues, but um, her eyes, she has glu um, glaucoma, 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 whichever. She has glaucoma and then she has, she's battling um, PCOS and not just PCOS, some, some other stuff like that just in one body but she's a very strong lady if i recently we've been in and out of the hospital and she's also on a natural hair in fact she started her own natural hair i think is it a few months before i started mine or i think a year before i started mine but her hair is her hair is long at least when i started helping her grow it started it stopped breaking and whatever but the speed in which the hair is supposed to use to grow is not dead despite the whole natural treatment and whatever i use for my hair it's working for her hair but not fast get me why is that because of medications we we kept going around i kept on doing researches trying to see what i can do differently to help her but then the only thing i could conclude on at the end of the day after so many research and whatever and we sat down to like analyze everything was the medications there's some kind of really strong medications you use it might not be everybody but some kind of health um, um, um issues you might go through and then like i said i only mentioned the ones i could mention there are, there, there are like some other things she still go through and she has to take medications for some of them and <sighs> honestly people that have um health issues are strong the fact that you have health issues and you're still going is 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 really like <laughs> i don't know how to put it but they're really trying so those medications and everything affected 
the hair growth and you know when it comes to hair growth it's not just about what you apply on it it also comes from the inside so you get it also comes from the inside so the only thing we could conclude on doing is that we'll have to like suggest and put in supplements to like speed everything up but i guess that's not that for now for her because she's already taking so much so you just bringing up anything that can like destroy the other medications is not just an option so that's the reason why her hair is still as it is this is like a picture of her hair right now but it would have been better if she was not having um taking all those very strong medication so it might be that medication is an issue with your hair growth like i mentioned in the other one of my video like that i said dieting is very important and when it comes to anything you take into your body it has to do with dieting medications and what whatever that has to either help your body or um reshape your body or one thing or the other and it can either affect your body or you know one thing with drugs so that's one thing that can affect your hair medications if you are taking very strong medications and some other kind of drugs it can definitely affect your hair if drugs can affect how your skin looks it definitely can affect your hair you can check that out hmm wise <laughs> so on to the next point next one we're going to look at is postpartum if i'm correct i don't know anything about that line but i know i've met so many people that complain to me while they are pregnant or when they give birth there are some kind of effect you have after childbirth. Not everybody goes through it, but some people go through it. And I keep praying to God, God, <sighs> let there be an evidence that I'm serving you. There should be a difference because <laughs> I've seen a woman that after she gave birth, she went bowed. Like, she went bowed. It took a month, like I mean months, for her to recover after childbirth. Now, not her entire hair, but like her front hair was gone. Not because she was placing a, a lot of nursing mothers or people that just give it. They don't have time to place their hair. Off. So it's not even that one. The hair would just kept on pulling. I've not given birth, so I don't know. But these are the things I've heard from so many people. There was even a woman I knew that her skin started losing his melanin after she gave birth. I think that story went online. So these are the things like women go through after childbirth you not think hair is not part of it hair is going to it can affect the woman so there are so many people that have complained of hair loss after giving birth so if you're in that category just exercise patients keep um using good products on your hair do not overlap your products okay so it's actually cool okay i can't say much on that but i just know that it is something that is unavoidable for some women so if you find yourself unfortunately or fortunately in that position then don't worry too much you actually bounce back you will with the right products right herbs and spices right hair routine you will definitely bounce back since something cost it okay so the next one we're going to look at is heat <laughs> heat I know your fellow natural hair care person you are following on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. They are using blow dryer in the highest heat to blow dry their hair. And then, since they are doing it, you can do it. You see, some of this our short clip that we do that we do pronom pronom time lapse to fly. You did not see what happened there. Some of them have already applied protective hair serum, heat protectant on their hair, and they did, forgot to mention it what is your problem with heat what business what does light and darkness have to do with each other why we're trying to keep moisture on our hair and then you are carrying it's a different thing if you're using heat cap to help your um, what's it called your conditioner penetrate into there is something on your hair to penetrate that's the purpose but say you're carrying blow dryer hair straightener directly to your hair please don't do that never I'm not going to talk more than that. All what I'm just going to say is stay away from heat. Ah, uh -uh. is Nigeria already not too hot for you? Please. So the next thing we're going to be looking, the second to the last thing, is the wrong product. Oh, like I said, because Zaya is using Mega Goods, because Zaya is using Share Moisture, because Zaya is using TCB, I should use it. No, darling. The product I'm using is different from the product you use, except you have my kind of hair. If I have a high porosity hair, the kind of product that can work for me is not the product that will work for a low porosity hair. Some of the products may work, but not all. Low porosity hair is a problem for their hair to retain moisture, and so they always have to moisturize the hair. High porosity hair is not always like that. It's easily moisture enter. If it's medium, good for you. Anything works for you. Life is easy. So find your porosity and find products that can work. Okay? 
if at all you're still confused about it, one thing, I, one day I'm going to talk about this hair type thing, and we're going to go into details. And I trust God to help me to explain better in a way that we can all understand. Honestly, if at all you don't still understand this porosity thing and hair type, whatever thing, I would just suggest just try our product. For crying out loud, when I signed my hair care joint, I knew nothing about hair. I tried. I started with Miracle. I started with so many, some other products. Not too much, but I was lucky to like find out to just stick to Mega Growth because like it was easy for me. So you might be very favored and try out some. It does not have to be expensive. May I go for affordable? Please, I beg. The day we have money to buy expensive, we buy. After all, some of even this expensive product, some of them don't even work for my hair. Some of them will not work because I've tried that one like that. In fact, the person brought it from their abroad. And I honestly, after the, I even left the shampoo for my mom because, uh, so just try out things. And it's not about how expensive it is. Try out products. Don't let anybody push you. Find out these things yourself. Research, okay? That's what internet and our phone, they are there for. Last but not the least, and you see this one. <laughs> I'm going to keep shouting this point everywhere to the moon and back until you will hear the me way. You have to hear it. Hear what the spirit is saying. Tight hair. What does light have to do with darkness? What is your business with tight hair? Do you need to pay people money to, to, to put yourself under? Please, if you go to Yabaraka shop and then she's not Yabaraka, sorry, don't be vexed though. But if you go to her shop and then the hair is tight, sure you will not lose it. Ni? If she's even placing the hair there and it's too tight, my dear, leave it. If you're a guy watching my video or you're a girl watching my... Please, if you're a guy that wants to grow your hair, don't do tight hair. I understand that men are strong. Don't go and use ego and put your hair inside problem. You can take the pain. It's not about taking the pain. When it comes to tight hair, stay away from it. I've always said it, that when your hair is tight, it gives your scalp injuries. When those injuries are there, it's a problem for your hair to come out properly. The time your hair will use to grow, your scalp is trying to recover. Why are you giving your hair so much issues? All these things are avoidable by going to the right place to make your hair. And you know that. Is this thing dead? Okay, it's still on. So please, whatever hairstyle that is tight, Ghana weaving is always my number one on the list. Because your front hair will go. You have injuries. You have boys. Stay away from it. If you are going to make it cool, like this blue hair I made that I showed you the other time, then it should not be tight. Make sure it is free. It should not be tight. These are the kind of hairstyles that can actually like pull your hair. Or you're making braids. Any point I'm making braids for you, man, you're not going to for them for you to even pack the hair, even if it's not less, you will not hear what for like two days because your head will be ringing bell. So anything tight hair, please stay away from it. I'll be ranting and if you've gotten to this part of the video and you can relate to so many things I said, please leave a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up when you give this video a thumbs up it helps youtube to recommend the video to other people and you're not just going to try to learn alone okay those are free informations that i need to go to a lot of people so they can stop doing the wrong thing so we mentioned um we mentioned heat over manipulation wrong products tight hair lack of moisture bleaching medications postpartum and we also talked about trimming so if you are guilty of all those things i mentioned please Stay away from them. Just you can, mm? you can. It will do you more good than harm. No harm at all. I have a good news. So this coming week of April, we are going to be going into a hair care challenge. So I'm going to be posting more about it. I'm going to upload a video to talk more about it. I'm also going to drop a link so you can drop a you can <clears throat> so you can join a group chat that can help me monitor everybody that wants to be on this challenge together. So it's going to be a three month challenge and I'm going to be dropping um, remedies and products, recommended products. We're also going to talk about hair types and so many things. So you would know how to keep your hair um, proper. So if you have wigs in your house, please gather those wigs because we're going to be on protective hairstyle and you can style your hair out or you can just use wig. So it's just going to be easy for the next three months. So if, you, if this sounds like something you want to be part of, Leave a comment. Like I said, one of my goals in this year is to what? To grow a very long hair, to grow my hair long, and to also help others to grow their hair long. And yes, I'm going to, I'm working on that goal right now. So I have everything down already, everything set. I'm just waiting for you guys. And the next video, I'm going to, probably not the next one, but I'm going to drop a video and I'm going to talk about it. Okay? 
fancy seeing you again please subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up leave a comment i really love reading your comments i'm not tired of replying okay if you want to comment five times no problem just give this video a thumbs up love you bye